Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I just wanted to start by getting a look at my house before Christmas when it was all clean and nice and decorated so that we can get right into the reason why we are all here, the aftermath. My name is Jay. I live alone here in this house. It is an older home that I purchased just over one year ago. And one of the reasons I was drawn to this house was for this room in particular, the living room. So it's my favorite room in the house, other than my bed, of course. So it tends to get like this a lot. I mean, I live like a true bachelorette. I kind of do what I want when I want. So there's always things and clothes in the living room just from outfit changes. In this video today, my focus was on just getting my living room reset. This was actually the day right after Christmas. I was ready for the decorations to go and to just have a nice empty space again. I actually didn't realize how small my Christmas tree was until I filmed myself taking all the decorations down and I thought wow that is a little tree because I'm only five foot two so it has to be a five footer so next year I do want to get a new Christmas tree maybe something more luxurious but this one works just fine so I'm just taking down the Christmas tree taking off some of the ornaments but honestly I just leave most of them on the tree and I just throw it in the bag and then I wanted to get a head start on vacuuming and just get some of that flocking up off the floor and for all of the decorations around the house I take the batteries out because I found that if I leave them in they get corroded and then here I just had some old candles that I had emptied out and used for decor that I decided weren't worth saving. In the background there, I have a candle burning. That is Frosted Moscow Mule from Instagram. And over on Instagram, I'm actually Jay's Scented Home, all one word. And I post a lot about home fragrance. I started that page um, around the time I purchased my first home to document my home journey and my love of home fragrance, but it's turned into mostly a fragrance channel so or a fragrance Instagram. But I'm hoping to do a little bit more on YouTube um nothing fancy just i watch a lot a lot of cleaning videos and i just found that there aren't many for people that are like me just young single professionals here i was just showing you guys one of the candle holders because i did take down everything fall and Christmas related, even down to the candle holders. And then I'm just busting out my Dyson vacuum. It's an old Dyson, <laughs> but it's fine for me, you know? And I'm getting up all that flocking that's everywhere and then using my little hand duster that I got from Dollar Tree in the car section, actually. And then I'm gonna dust off my TV. That's a Samsung frame TV. It's relatively new, kind of a splurge. You know, I'm trying to make my house a little bit nicer and a little bit more me. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dust and vacuum this whole fireplace and surround. I called myself trying to do a little bit of cord maintenance or keep the cords all together. But really what ended up happening was they just all got all tangled in electrical tape. So I was just undoing that and then using a spray away glass cleaner on my table that does not get cleaned nearly enough for the amount of use I put into it. And then I'm gonna take some pledge and get that window or fireplace mantle and the little end tables all cleaned up. 
I do have quite a few wax warmers scattered all throughout the house. Those are the things that I'm leaving on the surfaces. Um, I buy a lot of vendor wax, um, and I also buy a lot of wax from retail stores like Walmart, Yankee Candle, pretty much you name a wax, a store that sells scented wax and I've purchased it. I don't do any MLMs, so no Scentsy, but I do have friends in the wax community that sell it, so I have melted that as well. And then over here while I was cleaning, I had had this picture on the floor since I moved in a year ago. I was like, let me just go ahead and finally hang that picture up. And then here I'm just vacuuming up the room. Another thing I don't do enough is vacuum. <laughs> everything is all vacuumed up I went ahead and set my air purifier to run on high for I think I set it for four hours and here's a final look at the living room all clean not perfect but definitely a big improvement and then it was such a beautiful day I just wanted to show you guys that window it was letting in so much light and it just made me so happy onto the kitchen it is just never ending but i feel like even if you're single have kids you and your partner does not matter there are always dishes uh, even with a dishwasher i just can't keep up and i'm gonna be honest that's one thing living alone i can just kind of let my house get crazy because it's nobody's responsibility but my own and dishes are one thing i tend to let slip if i've had a really hard week um you know, emotionally or work-wise, I won't do the dishes until they start to smell, which is a little embarrassing, but I feel like it's not totally uncommon. Do you guys turn the water off when you wash dishes or do you leave it running? I leave it running. I like a very sudsy dishwash. Um, and I've tried the water off technique. I see a lot of people do it on YouTube and social media and you know, it's supposed to conserve water, but I'm just trying to get these dishes clean. So anything I can do to get myself to clean the dishes, I'm gonna do it. And it's just much more comfortable for me to um, do it while the water's running. Now the sink is all clean. I was just using the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. I bought that on Grove Collaborative. At this point, I think every social media person has a code for it, um, but I haven't seen it locally, which really sucks, but um, it smells incredible. So, so good. Definitely one of the best Mrs. Meyer products I've ever used. And then here I was spraying my countertops with the Wyman quartz and stone countertop cleaner. It smells like citrus and I think it works pretty well. Um, nothing revolutionary, but I do have quartz countertops that I got installed shortly after I moved in. This house is from the early 1960s, not the late 1960s like I thought, but the early 1960s. And it came with lime green laminate countertops which were something else, but I was one of the first projects I did in this house was get new countertops and new, a new stove. And then here I'm just doing the stovetop with the 
Windex multi-surface spray. And then I just grabbed a stainless steel wipe, you know, while I was in here, while I was at it, and just quickly wiped down the front of the stove and the refrigerator with those wipes. I do think they leave streaks behind. Um, I'm sure they're doing what they claim, but I think I could have just used the Windex cleaner on everything, but I've already spent the money, so I just figured I'd give the wipes a shot today. And then I wanted to clean that little mat that I stand on by hand and I just put it in the dining room while I busted out my vacuum again to vacuum up. I like to vacuum before I mop and then if I'm being really good I'll vacuum again just because the mop can dislodge dirt on the floor and I have brown hair and light colored floors so I feel like I can see every hair that leaves my head and it just is so gross. Um, that doesn't make me clean my floors any more often, but hey, here we are doing it today. And then here I was just using some Lysol and hot water in my O Cedar Spit Mop bucket. And then we are all clean, two rooms done, living room and kitchen. Into my dining room, I had a little Christmas type village set up on that console in the back. And then I have a house there that I dropped on the ground. So the first thing I did was drop it and break it. Um, so I was trying to shake all the broken bits out of it, but it still worked. So I just grabbed some Gorilla Glue and glued on the steeple that had broken off and then just continued cleaning. What I did to make this process a little bit easier was I took all of the holiday decor out of this room and I put it all in the back there. So I shoved it on the back and then I had my bins lined up in my spare bedroom and I just pulled them out and filled them one by one until I had all my Christmas decorations put up. While I spend most of my time in the living room relaxing on the couch, I would say that this table, and this is the front room when you walk into my house, is probably where most of the junk accumulates. For instance, here I have three different handbags because on the weekends when I'm not working, um, I just like to switch in my handbags. I love handbags um, and I carry a work bag with my computer in it. So on the weekend, you know, I can carry what I want. So here I was just, picking up everything, taking it where I needed to go, throwing away receipts, all the normal stuff that needs to get done. And then I just wanted to give the floor a quick vacuum. I clean the floors a lot more often in this video just to try and get up that glitter and all the stuff left behind from those Christmas decorations that we love so much. Do you guys miss your Christmas decorations? I actually do not. Um, I like my house empty, I feel like I'm more likely to keep it clean when there's less clutter, in my mind at least. In practice, not necessarily, <laughs> but it's what I like to tell myself. To wipe off the table in here, I was using the Mrs. Myers Apple Cider Multi-Surface Spray. I actually don't think the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Sprays are great. I think the scents are great. But as far as cleaning, I think the Windex works better and 
crud cutter makes a really nice kitchen degreaser, but I have a back stock of Mrs. Meyers from when they first started bringing out seasonal scents. So I'm just trying to get through those. And then here I was using an O Cedar uh, microfiber mop to just, I was using a, um, a spray mop solution or a mop solution in a little squirt bottle, just squirting it on the floor and quickly mopping up these floors. These are luxury vinyl, uh, the plank floors, which sometime this year, I would love to get them redone. Dark floors are beautiful, but man, do they collect dirt. All done, it smelled so good in here and I just loved being able to relax with the door open in December. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you at the next one, bye.